The next technique we're going to show is high hold of the head from the rear. Now this is one of the techniques we talked about earlier. It's not conducive to gaining control of the weapon and engaging a target quick. In the original Unarmed and Fearless, we showed you the joint break, which generally it's the shoulder break is what you're tearing up. You, you take somebody's rotator cup and rotate it over about 60 degrees past where it's supposed to stop, they're probably going to dislodge that weapon. I'm going to show you a couple of add-ons to this that when you have that joint break, he drops the weapon, I might want to give him a couple of quick shots to soften him up a little bit more to make sure that when I go down to that ground to grab that weapon that he's not going to be able to react to me. We'll go through it real slow. Okay, high hold. <clears throat> Once again, the weapon's pressed against you, lean against it. Come through. Notice where my angulation is. I'm going to break that elbow down. That's enacting the shoulder lock. He's a pretty good sized man. I'm going to bring my clean hand underneath. I'm going to drive up through right about there. If I go any further, his shoulder is gone. Now, this hand is completely free. I can go into his eyes. I can chop through his throat. I can come up, I can kick, take that knee down. Now I can grab the weapon. It's not one of those moves that you can just reach up and grab it. Some people can. If he's small, <clears throat> and let's say it was the other gentleman in here, Bill. Bill's got long enough arms that he could reach back and remove that weapon. So what we showed you in the first tape was the joint manipulation only. <clears throat> why we didn't want to get you going into all these secondary techniques. There's an old saying, if you want to teach something nothing, teach them everything. So we'll go through it one more time. Weapon pressed, you step through, break the elbow down, enact the shoulder lock. If he's having a little bit more resistance than you want, come underneath and just slam, which my arm would be up about here if I decided to break it. Once again, you can go to the eyes, Ridge hand to the throat, you can come in, kick to the leg, break the man even further down. 